Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to troubleshoot this iPhone 11. There's no display on the phone, but I do get incoming calls, the alarm went off, and it vibrates. So let's try to troubleshoot what's going on with the, uh, the phone. So there are two ways I'd like to try. First of all is to disconnect the battery. Sometimes if you do a hard reset on the phone, disconnecting the battery, and the display might come back on. The second option is to change out the uh, the screen. Maybe the screen backlight got damaged or something happened to the screen. Therefore, there's no display. So there are two possibility, and um, I like to try the first one is to disconnect the battery. All right. So let's go ahead and get a prying tool. Go in between that screen. Cut open the adhesive. So the phone is water resistant. There's this double-sided adhesive tape is taping down the phone. So you need to get a prying tool to kind of cut it open. At this point, I'm holding down the phone. The first thing I realized, the phone is not the original screen because there is the uh, uh, you can see that the phone has the uh, stem on it. That means it's a third-party screen. That more likely, I think the screen is bad. Okay, so the next thing is to get a tri screwdriver, which is the uh, Y little shape. The tri screwdriver 0 0.6. Go ahead and remove all the screws here. Just keep in mind that the screws are not the same size. So when you remove them, my recommendation is to take a picture of the uh, the phone, print it out in a piece of paper. As you remove the screws, you want to lay it down on the paper so that it gives you a reference on where the screw is going to be. Now, um, the battery is right underneath here. So let's go ahead and remove the battery too. Disconnect the battery and see if you can get a display. There are three screws and one of them is right underneath that flex cable. Remove the try the little um, L-shaped bracket and that is the uh, the battery connector right there. So disconnect that, reconnect back in. See if I have any display. Hopefully there's still battery on the uh, the phone. Otherwise I need to charge it up. Doesn't seem like there is a battery, maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's try to disconnect the battery. Disconnect the screen. The screen replacement here. This is the uh, front camera, the proximity sensor. Let me reconnect the battery.
So the screen is connected, the battery is connected, except the uh, front proximity sensor, the ear speaker. I do get a display, as you can see that that little uh, battery logo is showing up. The battery is dead. Hope you guys can see it. Maybe I turn off the light. Um, that is the battery logo. Okay, let's try again. You can see that the battery logo shows up. The phone is completely dead. There's no no battery on it, so uh, it needs a new screen. Great. So I'm going to disconnect the charger. Disconnect the battery. Disconnect the new screen. What I like to do is at this point, I like to transfer the proximity sensor, the ear speaker, to that new screen. So, first, I need to peel this thing off. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver, 1.5 millimeter. Remove the three screws here. Get a Y screwdriver, remove the tiny screw on the top. There's a little bracket. I think this is the grounding bracket. We need to remove it and transfer it to the uh, the new screen and remove the entire proximity sensor. Transfer it over to the new screen. You just have to follow the bracket because the uh, mounting bracket Holds down the uh, the sensor, and this grounding would have to go on top of it, like such. Holding down the, the proximity sensor and have the Phillips screw to go back on top of it. Okay, once that is done, let's reconnect all the cable. And the battery at the very last.
and this is the uh, main bracket that holds down the screen the proximity sensor so align that thing have the screw to go back on top of it Okay, when that is all done, making sure that the front gets slide in first. You want to make sure that it's in and get tucked underneath. And the rest of it, you just kind of press it down and crunch it on all the corners. Once you have that all installed, remember the two tiny screws right next to the charging port, holding the screen down. Have the two screws go in. This is the Pentalo P2 0 0.8 and screw it in all the way. Okay, and then just plug in the charger. And you can see that the uh, battery icon comes back on indicates that the battery is charging and um, we just have to wait until the thing is fully charged all right thanks for watching until next time bye now